This week, I'm gonna show you all how to vlog by vlogging myself. And I'm gonna be giving you guys behind the scenes look at whatever I am doing to film this shot. But first, for those of you that don't know me, I'm Amanda Horvath, and on this channel, I'm all about video marketing for entrepreneurs. Creating video content is either super expensive or takes up tons of your time. So I'm gonna show you how to do it and not have that happen to you. So if you're interested in that, then click subscribe and click that bell button to be notified every time I release a new video. So this shot right here is, I'm gonna show you guys the behind the scenes using my handy dandy little iPhone here. There is a window right here. Whoop and a light over here. Whoop. So between this, it's making a nice, even lighting on my face. So if I was to turn this light off, let me show y'all what it looks like. Get a little bit more of a moody look here, right? I personally really like a nice and even lighting because I want my skin to look good. And sometimes when it's overexposed, it looks good. <laughs> So today I am doing the first shoot in the studio and I'm super excited to take you guys along with me. It's gonna be happening right here behind me with a white backdrop. But first, let me explain how this shot is set up. So, right here I have a, a little light panel, it's tiny, on a gorilla pod and then I got my camera, not even on a tripod, just standing on my stand-up desk and I raised it to be the height that I need. Pretty simple. If you're looking to do some travel vlogging and you don't want to carry around big lights, then I highly recommend this guy. Don't overcomplicate it. Get light on your face and hit record. Also, I wanted to point out that usually I use a lavalier mic for my audio, but this time I'm just using a Rode mic that plugs directly into my camera. That gives you a little bit more versatility when you're filming so that you're not having to mic yourself up every time you hit record. So with that, it's time to show you the studio. All right, that's the studio, or at least the white background setup part of the studio. I have set up several different locations that are more lifestyle shoots that I'm gonna be using for videos in the future, both for clients and myself, so stay tuned for those. But before I hang up from you guys for this week, I wanted to show you a couple of in-camera transitions that you can use in your vlogs. The first one is the cover-up. So you do that by covering up your lens and then being in a new location. The next one is the shape. Then you have the down up. Just like that, you're in a new location. So there's tons of different ones that you can do. You can do one where you're spinning around and you cut while you're spinning. You can do one where you just like quickly swipe like that uh, or like that. So you can kind of try play around with a lot of different transitions in camera. So go ahead and give it a shot. All right guys, that is it for this week. Hopefully that was helpful in learning how to vlog. If it was, then be sure to drop a comment below and click that like button. I'll see you in the next video.